developments involving adaptive sports equipment for local athletes. A large grant is helping the whole person organization and their partners enhance its sports programming through new bikes, helmets, and accessories. KCTV 5's Joe Hennessy joins us live outside the YMCA in North Kansas City with how they think this is helping the kids out. Yeah, very exciting for all to participate. So the whole person uh, adaptive sports program director Kate Wan telling us that this is going to be breaking down barriers that the bikes that you're about to see, standard bikes, tricycles, hand bikes, those are going to be going out to the old and the young to help them get on the pathways to new adventures. Sports and activities are for all, but there can be barriers physically or financially. Adaptive athletes pay around 15 times more for equipment than non-adaptive athletes, according to the whole person. Anyone who wants to come and bike, uh, we're happy to have them and participate in our bike rides. Over the past five years, the Hartford organization out of Connecticut has gifted more than 5,500 pieces of adaptive sports equipment. These bikes are here now by way of a $50,000 grant from the Hartford. I did it! <laughs> a great thing for the community. Um, that uh, is going to be long lasting. It's going to be years of uh, people being able to use this. Huang says they worked with other adaptive involvement agencies in the area to make sure those funds went to the right things. I think we're really working hard to try and work collectively to provide different programs for um, adaptive athletes and uh, the cycling program wasn't uh, wasn't one that was was uh, being provided. John is an athlete playing basketball and track. He's about to be a freshman at Gardner Edgerton High School. He was born with a condition that limits the use of his legs and on Wednesday he was surprised with this new hand bike that can change his athletic and personal life. I can use it for I want to go on trails and camping and stuff and with my sister. Now it's been a process to get here, that grant money coming in about a year ago. So the whole person and all these partners having to work together to get to where we are today right now. And as you saw, there were some training lessons as well. So obviously they get to see the bikes and kind of how they operate, but learn so they can get on the roads as quickly as possible. Reporting live, Joe Hennessy, KCTV 5 News. Thanks, Joe.